In the previous lesson, I have created this Node.js application and I have in it my Git repository, which is here. So now I keep track of the project. But remember, Tyler here is supposed to have the same version of the project. So how can I share this folder, those files, to Tyler? Well, I could go here and just copy-paste the project and sending the project to him through a link. And every time I will make a change, I would have to do the same. It's not convenient at all. It's complicated. What we're going to do instead is to use github.com the platform where we can save and share projects. Basically, on github.com, I will push this project into what we call a repository. I will invite Tyler and he will be able to fetch, so to get the project. Every time I will make a change, Tyler will get the latest version when we will pull this latest version. Don't worry, I'm going to explain to you everything in the next lessons. But here what I would like you to do is to create an account on github.com because it's free. And once you have created that, this account, we are able to continue the course. Once your account is created, you are supposed to create here a username. And this is how GitHub is looking like. And we've got here this contribution panel, which is very famous, that show these squares with colors that are actually representing the number of commits that I did in the last year. And if I put my mouse, we can see here that I'm putting some commits and we call that contributions. Those green squares are actually commit here that you can see those circles. They are represented by these green squares. Let's continue. So there is my profile here and there is here some project that I pinned and those projects are actually exactly like this folder with the next application. Those are projects that you can look at if you want to. My most famous project is the view bootstrap boilerplate. And if I click on it here, we can see that we have the code which is here and we got tons of buttons options. Basically here, this code base and there is a readme here which gives an explanation of what this code is doing. Here basically this repository is a repository with view 2, view 3, bootstrap 5, view x and this is me who wrote this description. Here I'm explaining to people that this repository is a boilerplate, so a starter with view and bootstrap. And we can see here that I pin this project, so you saw it on my profile. And you can, if you want, fork the project. So we can see here that 36 person forked the project. So basically, let's say that this timeline is here, uh, the timeline of my view bootstrap boilerplate. Here, there is 36 person that did this. 36 person created a different version of my application to use it for project or whatever. So there are 36 person that create uh, actually a develop branch or whatever that made a different version of my usual boilerplate. And we can see here that I didn't touch some parts of the application since five years ago and some others since two years ago, etc, etc. And we can see here that there are releases that I created myself. The last release was in March 16, 2022. And if we go down, there was one in June 2021, etc, etc. So Git helped me to keep track of all the version. And GitHub is basically recording and showing this to everybody. We can see here also that during the project here, I created actually uh, uh, 115 commits. So you can come back to the real beginning of the application. And this is the history of all the project since the beginning, right? So if you want, you can copy paste the project, you can fork it and you can also give a star. Please give a star if you pass in here, that would be very nice. 
we can see here that 100% put a star on this template. And if I want, I can just fetch this template. But we are going to come back on this later. Finally, there are some options here and we can see that we got the pull request. So anybody can be able to fork the project, change and then send a pull request. You can create issues, there are actions, projects and all other things. But I'm not the only one on GitHub. And if I want to look for a project, I can go here on the top and type for instance Vue.js. And we can see here that I arrive on a list of other projects. And for instance, we've got the Vue.js project, which is here. Vue.js is a very known framework. And we can basically fork it, use it. And as you can see, Vue.js got way more success than my repository. Back on my profile, I have a lot of different repositories. And all those repositories are basically projects that I launch. So every time it's a different project, exactly like this one, with its own version, its own branches. Repositories can be public or private. So basically, some of the projects that we got here, you are unable to see them because I put them in private. And what we're going to do here is to create our first repository where we are going to save this project, the project that we've got here. So how can I save this next app to my GitHub profile on my GitHub account? Let's see that in the next lesson.